everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I wanna talk about how to use Jet Backup inside of cPanel to manage all of your backups and to restore files and folders that you may have deleted or need to restore um, because of data loss or accident, accidental deletion or whatnot. And I wanna show you how all this works inside of our web hosting and our reseller hosting packages. So first, let's get started. All of our web hosting packages, all these services here, and all of our reseller hosting packages, and this also includes your clients. So if you're reselling web hosting through Name Hero and you have customers, they also have access to Jet Backup. So Jet Backup is taking over as our backup solution software across all of these packages. So if you have a web hosting or a reseller hosting package, then you're gonna have access to Jet Backup. Now, it's early on here in 2020, but throughout the next couple of months, Jet Backup will be live across all servers. So if you don't see it in your package yet, just wait it should be live in the coming weeks. We're in the process of making that migration. If you have a new account with this, then it already has Jack backup and you can use it very easily. So backups, they're like insurance, right? It's something you hope you never have to use, but when you do need to use it, when your website accidentally gets deleted or something happens, you're darn glad that you have it. So these backups are complimentary at Name Hero. So we have two different types. One is a daily backup. So each night your websites and your databases and your emails, everything backs up. And again, this includes, if you're a reseller, this includes your customers as well. So if the next day you come in, so today's Thursday. So if you come in and you need to restore a file from Wednesday, it's backed up and you can go in and restore it and same with your customers. We also do a weekly backup. So each week, and it depends on what server you're on or whatnot, but you also have a weekly backup. So um, you have up to seven days that things could have changed. So if the daily backup doesn't work, if you say, well, you know, the file was removed on Monday and so Tuesday's backup's no good because it ran and I didn't realize it was missing until Wednesday, well, you can go back to that weekly backup. So you have these different restore points. And again, these are complimentary at Name Hero. They come with all accounts because we want to make sure that, you know, you have your data in a safe space. It kind of like that insurance policy. You hope you never have to use it, but if you do need to use it, then you have that option. Jet Backup has been a, a piece of software that's been in development for several years now. And they've done a fantastic job at making this super easy um, for you to manage. So you don't have to reach out to our support team, which you can if you need to, but you don't have to if you need to restore a file. You can do it all inside of cPanel. So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate Jet Backup and how it works and just show you how easy it is um, to help you be able to manage your backups or restore files when you need it. So if you're following along, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start from the beginning here just so you can um, see exactly how this works. So I'm gonna log into my demo account. So I'm gonna to go to account and log in. Um, I'm going to use my demo and I've got my secure password on my clipboard here and we're gonna log in. Okay, so now I'm at the Name Hero client area. Now, depending if you have a reseller or web hosting account, this may look a little different, but we wanna to get to cPanel. That's where we wanna to get to. So I'm gonna click on Cloud Web Hosting. And again, this is my demo account, so I've got a couple different packages. But the one I'm gonna to demonstrate today is just one of my reseller accounts. And I'm just gonna to go to cPanel. So I'm gonna go over here and click Login to cPanel. So if you have a basic hosting account, then you've gotta log into cPanel as well. Now, if you're a reseller and you're wanting to access this for your customer or one of your customers, you could go log into Web Host Manager and get the cPanel there. So the purpose is you're just trying to get the cPanel. So I'm gonna log on in here. Okay, so this is cPanel and this is how you manage your website. You know, it's got all the, all the stuff to manage your files and install WordPress and all of that good stuff. But if you notice right here at the top, you got two different links. You have one, Jet Backup, and then you have this whole little um, pane, if you call it, that has all the options inside of Jet Backup. Additionally, you can search for it here, Jet, and you'll see the icon pop right up. So you've got several ways you can access it. So in Jet Backup, you have all these options and I'm gonna walk you through each one. First is full account backups. So I'm gonna click this and just open it in another window here. So you're gonna see, here's the two different backups we have. So this is my weekly backup and this is my daily backup. So it's Thursday morning here, it's about 10 a.m. right now. And so this one occurred early in the morning. So this is essentially Wednesday's data. And there's, so you can see it's an incremental backup. Here's the creation date of it, and it's stored remotely, so it's not on your local server. It's, you know, kind of off-site, so to speak. 
And so you can, one, you can generate download. So if you want to store this backup on your own computer if you're, or your own Dropbox or whatnot, you can click Generate Download and it will actually pull this backup from our ser backup servers and download it um, to your computer. It will actually put it in a queue, then it will make it available in cPanel to where you can download it. And that's the same with the weekly backup. And so inside of this backup, it's all your files, all your emails, all your databases, um, everything for your account inside this daily backup. The weekly backup, it includes all your files, it includes everything from your account except your emails. All your emails are just kept in the daily backup because we feel like if we keep um, you know, weekly backups with emails, then those are going to be quite outdated. So um, that's the only difference between these two. But in these, you cannot restore from. You can just download them and you can view the files and you can upload the files manually. But if you need to restore one of these full backups, then you would actually need to reach out to our support team. But we really don't recommend restoring your full account. You know, If something's wrong with your website, if you're missing an email or something, it's best to restore just that individual portion of what's missing, not the whole account. Um, and I'm going to walk through that in this demonstration. But the point is, here's the full backup files, the full um, account backup files, if you want to download them for your record um, or just save them for whatever reason. Okay, so now we have file backups. And this is probably the most, um, going to be the most used feature that you need. Um, and you're going to see, once again, we have these two options. We have the weekly backup and then the daily backup. Um, and we can see the timestamps of when these were taken. So over here under Actions, you have File Manager. So if I click on this, I'm going to be brought into a file manager to where I can see all my files that have been backed up. So this is just like the file manager in cPanel, but this is actually on our remote backup server showing all my structure, all my files in my account. Um, they've been backed up. So if I click on public HTML, for example, you can see in my demo site, here's all the files that I have on backup. And in this specific one, it's a um, install of WHMCS. So it's a PHP file um, with a database. So if I need to restore some files or even a folder, I could just click on it and I could click restore selected. So for example, like let's just say this templates folder. If I need to restore this whole directory, I can click restore selected, add to restore queue, and it says success, add to restore queue. And if I go over, you can see in my progress here, it says it's actually in progress. And if I go over to cPanel and I click the queue, I can see that it's actually restoring that for me now. So this just takes a couple minutes. You know, I generally tell people um, allow 15 minutes. It's probably going to happen much faster than that, but it depends on how big that folder is. And you can see it, this happens in real time. It's completed. So now I've restored that folder. So if it had been deleted um, or, or if it had been modified and I wanted to restore it to a state of um, whenever that backup was taken, then I do it that way. So now that's, that's done and that's actually been restored inside my website to what that backup was. Now, so it's important, you know, if you've made changes, then it's going to overwrite those changes because you're restoring a backup. Um, but the purpose of this is that you can restore file or folders or individual files. So if we just want to, you know, restore one, one file, we can do that as well. And you can click as many as you need. So, you know, if you need to restore, you know, pick and choose a couple files, a couple folders, you can do that. Um, but we can also... Um, so we can go back and to our backup route, and you can see there's several different uh, folders that are in here. So even like our mail, um, we could restore individual things like that. Now, I don't recommend restoring the whole mail folder because you, there's actually a section in Jet Backup for email accounts. So this is mainly for your public HTML or even above that, but mainly for the files inside your public HTML, which are going to be your WordPress files, your WHMCS files, or your website files in general. So I think this is going to be the probably the most used way to restore things. And again, you can do this on your end. You don't have to submit a ticket. All right, so now let's look at um, the cron job, cron job backup. So the cron job backups are the cron jobs set up in cPanel. So if I click cron jobs here, you can see I've got one set up for WHMCS. So, you know, a lot of times this isn't needed to restore in a backup, but it is individually sectioned. 
So if you just need it, if you accidentally deleted or modified a cron job, you could actually restore these from right here. So you're not trying to, you know, let's say that you've accidentally, you know, maybe you have a, a staff member that changed one or you accidentally changed one. You could restore those individually inside of here. And it's the same as restoring those files and folders, but you would just click restore and it's going to restore all of the cron jobs. Now, in my case, I just have one, but if I had like 20 or 30, then it would restore all of them. So keep that in mind. Um, let's go back to Jet Backup. All right, DNS zone backups. So inside of cPanel, you can manage all of your DNS records. So under domains, you'll see zone editor. And so this is all your DNS records. If I click manage, I can see them for this domain, for this um, example domain. Um, and this is what connects my website or my, yeah, my web hosting to my domain. And let's say, you know, you accidentally modified one of these and you don't remember what you did, but you need to restore all of it from a backup. Um, just like the cron jobs, this will restore it. Click DNS zone backups and I've got my options. Once again, I can restore from the weekly or from the daily. So if I, you know, I made changes on, you know, let's say I made changes this morning and I want to restore to last night, great. But if I made changes yesterday and I could go back to Sunday, or you know, if I made changes Tuesday, I go back to Sunday. So you have two different restore points. Let's go back. Um, database backup. So I think, you know, really, it, let's talk about email really quick with the database. Email backups, I don't have an email account in here, so I can't show you um, on this, but this is much the same. You know, if I need to restore an email account, instead of restoring like that whole mail folder and file and folders rest restoration, I can do just the individual email account. So just restoring what needs to be restored versus trying to restore the whole account. It's one thing we see here at Name Hero is people will go to their site and let's say WordPress is, is very common. So someone will update WordPress and say, hey, I tried to update WordPress and everything broke, restore my account. You don't really want to restore your entire account because WordPress broke on upgrade. You really want to restore the files or the databases affected. You don't need to restore your DNS, your cron jobs, your email accounts. You know, just restore what needs to be restored. So that's why we kind of sec or why Jetback have sectionalized all this stuff so you can choose what exactly it is you need to restore. So that's where database backups is important. So if I click this, um, I've got one database in this account. So let's go to, I'll show you here in cPanel. So if I go to MySQL, um, you can see I've got one database. And this is for WHMCS. If you're running WordPress, you probably have a WordPress database. I'd say it's probably the most common. Um, but I just have this one database. And so the database for WHMCS or for WordPress, this includes all the data. So WordPress, that's all your pages, all your posts, all the comments, um, all the data for your site. So when you're updating WordPress or adding content to it, it adds in the database. So if you accidentally deleted a post today and you need it from yesterday, you could restore it this way. So database backups are probably the most important. And once again, I've got two, two restore points and I can monitor the size and see you know, which one, how it grows because your database, if you're adding data to it, it grows on a daily basis. So you can see here's the one from the early, early this morning and then here's the weekly one. And if I need to restore it from say Sunday, I can click restore, add to restore queue, and this is going to do the same thing as that um, file backup I did earlier. So if I go back and click the queue, you can see it's pending to restore. Um, you can see here's my files I did earlier. So this is restored just the database to the state it was in Sunday or when that um, weekly backup was taken. Um, so keep that in mind. This is how, or actually this is one from last night. Um, this is how it, this is how it restores. Now, once you do this, it's going to overwrite the live database. So remember, only restore from backup if you absolutely need to, because it's going to replace the current database with what is in the backup. So, you know, you don't want to, this should be a kind of a last effort. You, know, you want to try to solve the problem before restoring everything, but it is an option and it is in there and you can see it's completed. So there's no real guesswork, you know, there's no manual downloading and uploading. You just select it and it restores. All right, so let's go back. So that's database, and this is going to be probably your most used item. And again, complimentary, you have the nightly and you have the weekly. If you need more than that, there's going to be other options, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Um, and the other options will, of course, give you more restore points. But again, I'll talk about it in another video. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel for that. 
All right, so that's the full backups, the file, cron job, DNS, database, and email. So these are gonna be your most used items. You know, I think for most customers, it's gonna be the file backups, which is all the files to WordPress, WHMCS, or your website, and then your databases, which concludes all the data from WordPress and from WHMCS. I think those are gonna be the most used. Um, the queue, it shows when you're downloading a full backup, it's gonna you know, show you when that download's ready. Um, when you're restoring, it shows when that restore is completed. The next section is called snapshots. So you're going to notice now um, there's no longer an option. This backup option is being removed. This is the native cPanel backup option. So you're going to see this is going to be depreciated from Name Hero, and we're replacing it with snapshots. So if I click on snapshots, let me explain what that is. This allows you to take a current snapshot of your website right now, to a current backup of your site. So it, just like the cPanel native backup function, if you need a full backup for your website, you can click create new snapshot and it's going to go and start making a backup of your entire account right now. So if I go to the queue now, I can see a full snapshot's being taken. So this is of my entire cPanel account as it stands right now. And once this is finished, I can download this snapshot to my computer. So if you're about to do a big upgrade to your site, um, you know, update um, WHMCS, WordPress, a plugin or whatnot, you can take a snapshot so you've got the current um, snap of the site and what it is now of the whole account, and you can download it in case something goes wrong, you've got that backup. But that's how it's done. Now, if you have over 100,000 inodes or 20 gigabytes or more of space, then you have to contact our team to get a snapshot taken. Um, the reason for that is for server resources, so we don't um, sacrifice performance performance. So all you have to do is open up a ticket, say, hey team, you know, my account's over 100,000 inodes or it's over 20 gigabytes of space. Can you generate a snapshot for me? And we'd be more than happy to do that for you. Now snapshots, you're allowed to have one of these in your account. Um, so, you know, if you need another one, you have to delete one to make room for the other. So you do that by just downloading this. And then these snapshots stay valid for seven days. So you'll have this snapshot in your account for seven days. And then after seven days, it'll be removed automatically. So you can see this one's completed, so let's go back and let's go to snapshots. And you can see it's right here. So here's my snapshot I just took. So it is Thursday, February 6th, it's 11, 10 a.m. Um, and I can generate the download. So I just click generate download and you can see we only process one download request at a time, maybe delete it if you do it again. And so this will download, add it to the queue, and then you can download it to your computer. So you can download that full backup. And once again, this is only valid for seven days and the snapshot's going to be removed. So snapshots is replacing the native cPanel backup. Um, we feel it's a much more simpler, much more easier way to back up your website, be able to attain those files and hang on to them versus using the cPanel um, package account script that's kind of you know, resource heavy and all that. So this is now how you would take a full backup of your account. Settings, this just is, gives you an, a, an ability to get alerts. So like when, when the snapshot's ready or when your restore is completed, you can add your email address inside of here. Okay, and finally we have our GDPR compliance. Um, this section will be populated here in the next day or so. I don't have it uh, populated for this demonstration. And it's basically for the GDPR compliance in the European Union, if you live or um, you know, are in the European Union, it's just gonna give you the ability to be right, right to be forgotten. Um, right now these, com these requests can be um, manually complied. So if you wanna be forgotten and you know, have your data removed, you submit a ticket and we'll do it. But this will automate that as well. So if you want to, you can be able to fill out everything and view our GDPR compliance. Once again, I will have that live here in just the next coming days, and you can see that inside of here. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. You know, that's that's Jet Backup. It's very, very simple. You know, it, it just works. These are automated backups. They happen once a night, once a week, automatically for you. If you're a reseller, it happens for your customers. So this is a huge selling point if you're a reseller. And, you know, you can access these backups right inside your account. Um, you know, we don't hide anything from you. It's very easy to get to. And, you know, if you need to generate your own backup, you do that now in Snapshots. This cPanel backup, this function here, is going to be depreciated. Same with the um, backup wizard. That You will no longer see these. We now use the snapshot option. So just keep that in mind. It makes it so much easier, so much simpler.
you know, trying to restore, and see, this is the default cPanel, the native, you know, trying to restore a home directory, a MySQL, all that, and now everything's in Jet Backup, so it's just in one place to where you can easily select, you know, do I need to restore a database? Okay, great. All right, here's my database backups. You can see here's the snapshot I created, the manual one, so I've now got three options, and I just click here to restore it, or I can download it to my computer. Everything's right there at your fingertips. So Jet Backup makes things simple, it makes things fast, and it makes it easy. Um, again, backups are like an insurance policy. You never need them until you need them, uh, but when you do need them, you need them bad. So this is one way that we're working on improving our backup solution here at Name Hero to make sure that all your files are safe and secure. And you know, as I say in all my YouTube videos when I talk about backups, you can never have too many, and you always should have one on your computer. So, you know, that's why we give you the ability in full account backups to generate a download, you know, to, to keep these. So I recommend, you know, this weekly backup. If it was me, I would probably generate this once a week um, on my computer. You know, I click generate download and, and save that in my Dropbox. Um, you know, daily, that might be overkill, but if your site updates all the time, you might want to do a daily one as well and keep that on your computer. You know, that way that you know you have a backup on your computer, you've got a backup with us on our offsite locations, um, and your files are safe and secure. We are going to have that option for databases where did it go? Let's go back into here for database backups. So I've got my snapshot now and my two complementary ones. So I've got three restore points. We're going to give you the option to have a little bit more um, backup restore points for databases, but I will have another YouTube video on that because databases, especially, you know, for WordPress, if you're adding posts every single day, you know, you might need seven, 30 or, you know, 60 restore points. So we're going to give you an option to have many more store points for databases as well. You know, that's that way, you know, you've got these remote offsite backups if you need them for databases. So stay tuned for that. So that's Jet Backup here at Name Hero. Um, I want to give a special props to the CEO over at Jet Backup. Um, he actually has reached out and me and him have talked and, and you know, I'm very proud of our partnership here at Name Hero. Um, he, he's really gone above and beyond leading his team in the ongoing development of that project. Um, so I'm very pleased to have them as a partner vendor here at Name Hero. Um, and so just props and major, major kudos to them. If you have a VPS or a cloud dedicated with this here at Name Hero and you want to use Jet Backup, that's also going to become an option here in the future. Right now, it's just our web hosting and our reseller hosting packages. So these up here, uh, web hosting reseller. If you have a VPS or dedicated, it's not yet an option, but soon it will become an option. Um, but there is a licensing fee. So we'll make sure that we get you out the information for those customers. But again, this is complimentary for all of our web hosting and, and reseller hosting customers. If you're a reseller and you have customers, it's complimentary for your customers. You have that weekly, you have that nightly backup. Everything's easily managed inside a cPanel. These are off-site backups, meaning they're not stored on the same server as your website. Um, so, you know, it gives you, it's an off-site secure location. So in case the, you know, if something, a catastrophe would happen with the server that your website's on, the backups are at separate locations. So you do have that extra reliability and that redundancy. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. This video is going up on our YouTube channel. Leave a comment. I'd be more than happy to reply to it. I'm going to get some blog posts, some guides on all the information that I've covered in this video. And if there's something that I didn't explain quite well enough or you didn't quite understand, feel free to let me know, you know, drop that in the comments and I'll reply back and give you more information. And also I'll put out some more documentation on this. So this is another way at Name Hero. We are working for you and you know, we've heard your feedback on backups. We're trying to make these easier for you and to give you that insurance policy that if you need a backup, it is available. Um, it's easy inside of cPanel. If you need to restore a file, if you need to restore an email account, you can easily do it yourself. But if you have questions, our support team is available 24, 7, 365, phone, email and tickets. You know, we are here, or phone chat and tickets. You know, we're here 24-7, 365 to help you. So thanks a bunch for watching. Once again, I'm Ryan. I'm the founder and CEO. It's our pleasure to work with you. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks a bunch.